Hi, I'm Randy Barber and I am on the road today at Manhattan Middle School for Arts and Academics. And I'm so excited. We're in the green room here in the library. You guys call the library here, Brent? Oh, uh, we call it a library, media center, whatever uh, gets folks down here. Okay, and I'm with Brent and Zinnia. And one of the coolest things that I've seen uh, lately is that they create these fun videos. Hey, student Barbie. Hey, Advent Ken. How was your summer? They're based off of like cool songs that are going on. Uh, but they hit certain topics that they need to talk to students about. So it's kind of an interesting way, an avenue for them to be able to carry that information. Why don't you guys kind of talk about how things got started, how, how you got off the ground with it. Yep, so at the beginning of the school year, we have a RISE assembly, and RISE is our PBIS acronym. What we wanted to do was, okay, we're going to have students in the auditorium for 20 or 30 minutes. What's an engaging way to get them to stay focused, but then to also remember... And, and so that's what we did. We, we wanted to come up with, you know, I'll talk a little bit and then there'll be some videos that we show. And she was the creative, she's the creative one and the, the thinker behind everything. And I just kind of show up. So, Ms. Zinnia, what's your, what's your process? Well, so what I like to do, you know, the, the thing that we want to do is to make it fun. and make it engaging. And so what we'll do is we'll figure out what is the most popular song or what is the most popular show that the kids are watching so that it's something that they can relate to. And then what um, we'll do is figure out so, for example, we want to talk about the cell phone policy. Well, what kid wants to hear about the cell phone policy? Nope, put your phone away. So we'll figure out what is the most popular song, and then we'll change the lyrics so that it relates to put it, keeping their cell phone in their locker. And um, one year, actually, kids were singing along because we have the words down below, and so they were singing along with the song, and so it's fun to watch them get the information and then connect with it and um, have fun with it. It is so creative. I mean, you guys are, uh, again, like you said, rewriting the lyrics. That it must be like its own creative process and its, its own. What, how do, what does it take to kind of get in there and rewrite it and record it and like your own record company? Here. She's creative and brilliant in that way. I'm more like, a, uh, if you watch the movie Anchorman, uh, it, I, I can't, it, it has to be in front of me. So whenever I'm talking or speaking, there has to be a sheet of paper over there mm -hmm. so now I can remember it. And whatever's on that paper, I'm saying, and so it just has to be, she comes up with it, and if it looks good, then it's great, and she's the one behind it. So what I do is I uh, live about 40 minutes from work, and whatever the song is, I'll just play the song on repeat all the way on the drive home, and then just come up with some ideas, and then sit down and just try to make things rhyme, and make things make sense, and make it also go along with the music. Yeah, it takes about 50 cuts because I either can't see it or I forget what I'm supposed to say. When you're in class, always do your best. But it's fun. Yeah, and what kind of response have you guys gotten from the students? Oh gosh, they love it. Yeah, um, they love the it. Stranger Things one, as soon as the, that came on, you could hear the kids go like, oh, because a lot <laughs> of them have seen it. Yeah, and then um, last year with the Jack Harlow one, they actually started singing along because um, he also puts the words on the bottom of the screen so that they know what's being said. So he's not taking a lot of credit because I don't, I don't know, know why, but he does a lot of the production. He makes it look good once we put it all together. And um, yeah. yeah. It's definitely a team. I guess my last question really is that okay. idea of like, if somebody wants to do this for themselves, uh, you guys have got a green rooms, you got a little bit of lights and that kind of stuff. I mean, what do people really need to get this off the ground? Do they need all that or could they just no. take out their cell phone? No, they could take out their cell phone and just have an idea. Hopefully, have someone that's willing to go along with the idea with you, and it's a it's a fun way to get away from the work that we have to do. We've I think we've only used this room twice, and so we've done it with the cell phone. And what we'll do is we'll record the song first, and then we lip sync over top of the song so okay. that the audio comes through. Yeah. Well, Zenia, Brent, I really want to thank you for letting me come by the school today. Uh, thank you for sharing a few tips in regards to the way that you do this and. I hope you have a great school year. We Thanks. will. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Habla con tus profesores.